Hey there guys and gals, it's me Norix and welcome back to yet another Unreal Engine tutorial video. Now, we are beginning to get into fun parts in this video. Alright, so, um, last video we talked a little bit about timers, it was a kind of a boring subject, but don't worry. Uh, it's a, it's not that, like, a crucial thing, but uh, it's, it's a good thing to know. Anyways, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about overlapping. Oh boy, yes, we're getting there. Okay, so what the hell is overlapping anyways? Uh, because a whole lot of people just, you know, begin talking about overlapping without even explaining what it is, giving you a tutorial, and then you've got to see the result to understand. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just explain it to you one by one, all good and dandy. Okay, so basically overlap means uh, when something enters something else, and no, we're not talking about everything, you know, we're not talking about that. Uh, when something, an object, you know, gets into the realm of another object, like, you know, this character is right here. If I was to push it down, as you can see, it's going inside that other thing, alright? So it's overlapping. But this has a collision, so it won't overlap. Alright, if I was to turn a collision off, let me see if I can. Collision. Can I, can I turn it off, my bro? Can I turn it off? Um, can character step on? No. Then what the hell am I stepping on? <laughs> okay. Um, collision preset. Where the hell is no collision? Ah, there we go. There we go, bro. Yep, and as you can see, I just fell through it. Alright, so, um, if, if the collision preset is set to default, then, uh, you know, if it's set to not, or block nothing or I don't know uh, no collision at all you will just pass through it so it's because of the collision that I'm standing on it and when I pass through it I'm actually um, overlapping it okay we're going inside each other alright so it's basically like what it is alright and um, okay so that's that now let's get into blueprint see how it's done and we're not gonna use this function this is for uh, for noobs we don't use, we don't, we're not news, alright? We're, we're godlike C++ programmers, alright? We're gods, bro. We're gonna use that. Alright, I'm gonna just put them down here because I just wanna, you know, have some good stuff to work with. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and totally delete this, delete this guy. Go ahead and you make a new, um, what was it? Let's go ahead, we could, we could create a cube or a cylinder or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and make a capsule com collision because it's a collision, right? So, capsule collision, I'm going to name it trigger box, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. What do I name this guy? Trigger capsule, why not? Alright. So, we're going to have that, and... I'm thinking. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, we got this guy right here, alright? This is our, our actor component. You already know what components are. And I'm going to go ahead and push out a pin from this, or rather pull out a pin. And I'm going to type um, overlap. Just just overlap. And I'm going to search. Alright, so we got a bunch of stuff that you don't care about. Let's go ahead and make it not context sensitive. And we don't care about any of them but events. So we have add event, collision, event, actor, begin, overlap, and actor, end, overlap. These are the ones we're looking for. So actor, event, overlap, event, actor, end, overlap. Wait a minute, why is it not... I want it to be for my capsule, bro. Actor, event, event... Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Point is, my capsule is right there, and it's it's tiny <laughs> we gotta make it a little bigger so let's go ahead and do that just now all right all good it's as big as kind of my character all right so now my character has a trigger capsule we could have not put it there it doesn't matter uh, overlap are dynamic the collision preset is good uh, we don't care about this guy right here all right we don't care all good all dandy but uh, this is not what I want actor component components begin overlap this is what I wanted but I don't know why it's not giving it to me on component begin overlap come on dude you gotta give it to me no it's not giving it to me I don't know why uh, do we have them here 
input touch we don't have them here on component begin overlap and end over oh yeah there we go all right th these are what I wanted all right um, components not no 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 hit no hit no hit bro so I just wanted these two all right but I don't know why it's not allowing me to do it like that so you know on component because I need to be able to draw a pin out of this but um, you know what never mind we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way or the new fashion way so uh, trigger capsule now how now has two things all right on component begin overlap and on component end overlap okay um, <laughs> let's go ahead and explain everything that is here to you guys then we'll go over there all right so whenever this guy overlaps we print yeah whatever we, we call print hello why not let's go ahead and put a box trigger here make it huge Wow, bro, this is goddamn Jesus. Okay, now if I pass it, as you can see, uh, no, 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 this is not, this is not right. This is, this is the thing. This is um, this guy. This is the timer actor. All right. So as you can see, whenever I pass through it, it's calling hello. All right. Now end overlap kind of does the same thing. All right, let's go ahead and print text. This is gonna call hello, and this guy is gonna call goodbye. cool and easy right let's go ahead and see so whenever I enter it hello and when I exit it goodbye hello goodbye hello goodbye this is basically all there is to overlapping alright I mean this is the very basic simple part of it and yeah it's basically overlapping stuff I'll just make it a little bit bigger so we can jump over it and this is my trigger box alright we're gonna test our C++ with this as well so hello goodbye hello goodbye all that good stuff alright that's good. Now let's go ahead and explain everything that is right here except this guy because I honestly do not know what this hell what the hell this guy is. I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> Even the creators probably don't know. Um, I searched a lot and I don't know what it is. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's up. Now, whenever we begin our overlapping, we get a couple of things as well as an execution pin. All right. This executes whatever. And this gives us a bunch of, um, you know, we, ha we, we can, it doesn't just close our hands, all right? It doesn't keep us from doing things. It allows us to do things, all right? These things here. Excuse me while I take a sip from my awesome tea, not coffee, which is weird. Okay, uh, so we got overlap component, other actor, other component. So overlap component, let's see if we can get the name of it. All right, get, uh, come on, bro. Get name, do we have that? Uh, get object name, we'll get display name, probably. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Yes. So as you can see, my PP character, the trigger capsule. So you can get the name of the overlap component and the overlap component is the trigger capsule right so we're we are actually attaching I mean we're this is the component that caused the trigger or right? caused the overlap I could get the other actor which is gonna give me the name of the collision as you can see trigger box all good I could also get the other components which is gonna be trigger box a collision component all right it has a collision component built in that's gonna give me that. I could also uh, do something like this. It's already a thing, so minus one because I don't know why <laughs> this is the other body index is not really really related to now. All we need to care about right now is these three and this guy. All right, so we could just break, hit result, and we will talk about this pretty soon. All right, not just yet, but this is pretty goddamn good. Um, not now when we're doing um, raycast. Okay. Uh, this is not really good for now, but we can we can put use of it. I mean, use to the to it. Okay, so uh, this guy gives you all this information. We don't really care about these two, um, especially not this guy and this guy. All right, so these four and this guy, these four, but not this guy. So whenever we begin our overlapping, we get a whole bunch of stuff. Whenever we end our overlapping, we get the same kind of the same amount of stuff, but except the, these three. I'm, I'm sorry, these two. Okay. So, you already know how to make an overlapping, or rather an overlap happen in, uh, in blueprints. 
all right? But before we go to C++, I just want to explain to you exactly what this is. All right, let's go ahead and see what it is. Let me just check something. All right, all good. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out, bring this guy here, and start doing stuff right here. So um, let's see about time, all right? I don't know what that is. All good. Distance. As you can see, it's zero, so we're overlapping it. All good and dandy. Now, these are, well, location could be good. All right, location is not bad. It actually, well, well it's, it's pretty bad because <laughs> I'll explain to you why this is, this is happening, all right? Um, we don't care about that. How about this one? Normal is going to be obviously zero. Uh, impact normal, obviously zero. Physical mat, um, yeah, we gotta get all the stuff. Hit bone name. Alright. So, this is a useful thing, but not when overlapping. Alright, I just wanted to show you that this exists, but we're not gonna really use it. This is, um, overlapping and raycasting, they kinda use the same structure, same thing. And this is a raycasting kind of a thing. Now, it, you could make use of this. Or you could get the hack, uh, the actor, the hit component, the hit bone, okay? Um, you could get the item, you could get index, and one of the one of the things that you know kind of comes in handy. You could get the physical material. All right, these are things that are not zeroed out, but uh, the rest we don't really care about them. Okay, we saw how to do that. Let's go ahead and create this exact thing in our. C++ character. Alright, so this is my blueprints guy. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my C++ guy. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make that go away. Possess. Auto possess. Player zero. Let me see if this works. And yes, it works, but there is no collision. Because we don't have it yet. Let's go ahead and make it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Visual Studio. And we're gonna go ahead and create a couple of things. First thing I'll create, first thing I'll do actually is put this here because yeah, this is the way things are done, my boy. All right, so we need a couple of things. First off, we need a capture component, right? So let's go ahead and create that right now. Um, <laughs> new property. I want it to be visible anywhere. I want it to be, let's say, blueprint read only, and. Do I give it a meta tag? Let's give it a meta tag. So meta tags are kind of like a special tags. Um, no, 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 not like that. Allow private access. Wait, did you write it like this? I don't remember. No, it's not Pythonic. It's it's normal. So allow private access. Is uh, whatever. We don't care about this. Because it's public already, so we don't need that meta bullshit. Alright, so visible anywhere, blueprint read only, um, you, what was the name? Capsule component, trigger capsule, and um, <laughs> is this going to be a normal one? Is, need, does this need to be a pointer type? I think it needs to be a pointer. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and initialize that, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, create default sub object if you remember we give it the u capsule component as the uh, input and then we give it, give it put it here and what do we need we need, we just need a name right so text trigger capsule good and that and close it up all right, this guy's created, all good, all dandy. Now let's go ahead and do our things. Okay, so what the hell do we need to do first? First thing we need to do is create that, which we have already created. Now what we need to do is we need to, well, we need to kind of resize it, right? Because we resized it, and we need to resize it there, but let's put that for later now. Um, now we need to create these two, right? We need to create events. We already have events, we could just copy them. And uh, events are nothing but functions, kinda. So not really. Don't 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 judge me on that. But uh, yeah, these are kind of like events, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy you function, put it here, and on begin. What do I name it? On begin overlap. Why not? So we have on begin overlap, and we have 
u function on end overlap. Okay? But here's the thing. These functions are kind of like a weird kind of functions. If you do remember this guy right here, it takes these, it, it actually gives you this, these many parameters. And you don't call that function. That function is called from somewhere else. Okay? It's an event that is being raised. This is the way, correct way of saying it. And these parameters are passed in. So what we need to do is we need to give our function these parameters, right? Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, um, we need an we need a component, right? An actor component, an actor, another component, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. U primitive component. Mm, it's I think it's pointer. Yes, overlapped component. We have a U actor. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> A actor, not you actor, bro. You actor, po uh, sorry, A actor pointer, uh, other actor. I could name these whatever you want. These are just your parameters. Y another U primitive component right here, which is going to be named overlap other. I'm sorry, this should be a pointer. Other component. Hard to memorize all this stuff. Um, what what else did we need? Okay, let's go back here. So. All right, we need a we need an int thirty two. So int thirty two, I think. Wait, or is it just int? I don't know. Int, whatever. Uh, body index. We need something else called a bool. B from sweep, which I don't know what it is. I just don't, but it's needed. <coughs> Sorry, and we need a const f hit result reference um, hit result. I'm not sure if this is a f if, if this is correct. I don't remember right. Let me just go ahead and double check. And Intel's is, is failing me. Come on, bro. Come on, don't fail me now. I don't, I'm not sure if this is f it result or not. But yeah, we're gonna just, you know no problem, no sweat. We'll just get to it. We'll we'll pass that bridge when we get to it. All right. This is this is the way I've been living so far. So no no goddamn worries. Um, let me just check it again. F hit result. This is the thing that... Yeah, there we go. What the hell was wrong then? Anyways. Uh, our hit result is over there. And, uh, I'm beginning to overlap. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> it's to return void. Come on, dude. This is not Python. Um, alright. There we go. Now, this same thing happens for the rest. Unless, um, let me just go back here. It didn't have these two. So we don't give it the last two parameters, right? We don't give these two to our next function. Let me just go ahead and copy all of this and put them all right, not there, right here. Sorry if it's tiny, that's better. Let's go ahead and use IntelliSense a little bit. And it's gonna take a goddamn long while to just goddamn create one function. Alright, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for this guy. I mean, it would have been faster if I just copied and pasted, deleted those two last parameters, but whatever. Okay, um, now this is pretty bad because I didn't put the U here, and this is going to be an issue. Uh, why did I make that typo? Come on, bro. It needs to be a U. This needs to be U, and let's go ahead and fix these pointers because I goddamn hate it when Visual Studio does it like this. Okay. Alright, all good. Okay. And then there's this last guy right here. Um, we don't quite care about that either. Okay, now our functions have been created. All good and dandy. All nice. Uh, let's go ahead and do something now. Let's go ahead and do the printing thing. So, if you remember right, we did if G engine in the last video. If global or, I'm sorry, game engine exists, if it's there, then we do G engine. What was it? Add on screen debug message, whatever. Negative one which is the key, whatever, um, 0.5, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> 5.f, 5, 5 um, f color, let's say green, or red, why not, why not red, and we're going to give it a text, hello, why not, just give it a hello thing, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, because I don't want to overdo anything, and we're going to say good, uh, bah, Goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Alright. These are good and dandy, but 
if you remember right, we did something else that we need to do here as well. Okay? I did something else. I hit this, came to these events, and created these two events for this guy. Alright? So I attached those events. I made those events as well. Let's go ahead and do that as well. We need to make these two. So the name of this guy was Trigger Capsule. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with it. What functions it has. It has... Uh, let me just see all of the functions. It has a couple of, <laughs> quite a bit of functions. Um, a lot of them are inherited, a lot of them are not. Uh, a lot of them are just for it. Okay, whatever. So, we need to do a couple of things with this guy. Um, let me remember, what do we need to do? We created a default sub Okay. Okay. Um, init, capsule size. You could do, like, how many? How much should we do? 50 and 100 maybe whatever uh, trigger capsule this is this is the this is a size thing you know we're just initializing the actual size of the capsule uh, set collision profile because we need to profile name whatever we do a text of okay uh, let's go ahead and see what our actual guy has and copy that exact thing now maybe not I don't know uh, <laughs> collision, bro. Thank you. Overlap all dynamic. Mm, I don't like that. I'm gonna put trigger for this guy and for that guy. So I'm gonna just go here and call trigger on this guy. So now this guy also has a trigger. Jesus, that sound. This guy also has a trigger profile. All right. Uh, what more remains? So we got the trigger. What more do we need? Oh, of course, dude. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. Trigger capsule on begin overlap. Overlap? Was, was that it? I don't know. Let's just do it again. On begin overlap. Oh, yeah. Actually, begin component overlap. So what this needs is... Um, or was it like this? Hmm. <laughs> I goddamn remember something about that. Add dynamic. Somewhere I had add dynamic. I don't know. Um, add dynamic. Nope. On begin overlap. Dot add dynamic maybe. Nah, not that guy. All right. You know what? I'll be right back with this. Okay, guys, I'm back. I actually looked at the documentation, and uh, <laughs> this seemed to be an issue with IntelliSense, I think. I don't know. It wasn't showing me this guy. I knew it was here, but it wasn't showing me. So we do one component, begin overlap, add dynamic, uh, pointer to the class, and then, you know, address of the function, just like just like this guy right here, right? You know, we're, we're just adding an event. And uh, we could do the same thing. I'm sorry, just with this one. On component and the overlap, and we could just add the on end overlap right here. All good, all dandy. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and compile and see what happens. Okay, we're back. Uh, it's compiled very easily and very good. I'm just gonna go ahead and. What the hell is up with this guy? <laughs> Why is our trigger com com trigger guy over there? It should be over here. Let's let's just go ahead and not do that uh, trigger is gonna be let's let's put it to zero 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 see what happens and yeah this seems to be this seems to be good let's go ahead and do well mm, never mind let's just I don't want to wait for that compilation stuff again oh I forgot something I need to auto possess myself um, possess and let's go ahead and play and as you can see, it's working beautifully. Hello and goodbye. Getting written with the red text on the top every time I enter or close this guy. Uh, enter or close. <laughs> enter or exit this guy right here. Beautiful as hell. Okay, guys. One more note to be made here that I kind of forgot to tell you. Um, it's actually very important. You gotta make kind of a safe check if you want to use these things. Okay. Um, 
And the safe shake is actually quite easy. It's not that hard. It's um, it's easy. So <laughs> what you need to do is you gotta first check to see if overlapped. I'm sorry, uh, other components because yeah, other components is there, and other actor is there, and other actor not equal to self. Okay, so um, self this. I don't know why. What's with me and Python today? Okay, so you need to make this check. You always need to make this check, and then you have to start doing what you want. All right, we don't want to uh, make a mistake here. Um, so yeah, this is a very important thing. Um, just keep that in mind. Always make the safe check, um, and you know the G engine. It's kind of like that. So uh, you don't get null pointers. You don't get um, you don't get mistakes anywhere. Make, make sure you do the safe check. Okay, guys, that's been it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do leave a like. And um, if you really enjoyed it, do subscribe for more kind of like this. Also, if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments. I'll try to uh, get to you as fast as possible. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you when I see you.